I've always wanted to live in you know, Los Angeles ever since I was a little kid. Just from growing up in a small city, you know, you want to be in a big city. You know, once I moved here, it was just like two peas in a pod, pretty much. Growing up as a kid, I never really left the state. I never, I hardly ever really left Flint. And then going to Utah, that was already a big enough culture shock. And then going all the way to LA, it's totally different. And I expanded my horizons this summer about just eating different, because I've always been a picky eater. I experienced couscous for the first time. What else? Quinoa. I'm glad I play basketball, because I'll probably be like 300 pounds right now, for sure. Our menu and our inspiration is driven by the products that we can get. We can get the best produce in America. People in LA love to eat like really fresh food, and so we really just like let those ingredients sing. Oh, there it is. Ultimately, we just want to have a place that means something to the city and is very unique to LA. What comes with travel is definitely food. No, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty fun to, you know, see what other cultures eat. Every little city has this different type of taste. Once I moved here, I just wanted to make this my home, and I've seen a lot of the city. I bought a house here in a quick year and a half that I've been in the league, so I had, like, college house at first. I just had plain walls and TV. I thought I was just popping when I just had a TV, but I was like, man, this is boring. I went to some people's houses, and they had art, and I'm like, man, I got to get this, so. Los Angeles is an amazing place to be able to have the freedom to explore creativity. With this project in particular, taking a material that is so loaded with a very specific class disparity and then taking a sport that has no barrier to entry and everyone can participate, it is a really interesting and clean platform for storytelling and conversation. Yeah, this is definitely unique. We made something special for you. Really? Oh, this is sweet right here. So it's a porcelain basketball mm -hmm. that I break and rejoin with this Japanese technique called kintsugi. Right. And it's all about sort of celebrating the imperfection of a vessel, which I felt like paralleled the athlete's mm -hmm. journey perfectly. Yeah, as... nothing's perfect. Exactly. I don't really believe in pressure. My job is easy. Like, I play basketball. You know, I think pressure is trying to make it out of Flint. You know, this is this is fun. Like, I don't I don't really see no pressure. You know, coming into the league, you know, you think you dress nice, and then you see your teammates, and you're like, oh, I got to pick my up. I'm a 6'9", long, like, unproportionate, like, person for, like, clothes. And, you know, you're not going to have that in a Gucci store or going to a warehouse where they got hella clothes. Like, you know, that's, like, perfect for me, and I can pick out and build a relationship. What's cool about modern luxury and modern fashion is it's not so strict anymore. New luxury is about being yourself and being relaxed. And the question is, how do you make things that are relaxed but still at the highest caliber? So I think starting with the best materials in the world gives you the best starting point. I always enjoy seeing people wear my clothes because it always shows me that this person that I imagine wearing this like exists. And that idea found the person that it was meant to connect to. Being from Los Angeles, I remember kind of growing up, and the one thing I would always kind of look at was the guys wearing their purple and gold, and watching like this new generation of guys like you reminds me of that, so I thought this might be perfect for you. Yeah, this is fire. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course, man. It's good. Oh! <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I just feel like I'm not a celebrity, so like when I go places, it used to annoy me, like, man, I can't even do this, I can't do that, but I pretty much asked for this. Now I look back at it, it's like, I wouldn't want it any other way.